Hi, so today I want to show you a way of having two curves who are movable between each other and have them change with the graph um, mapper in Grasshopper 3D. So in order to understand that basically we will have um, uh, a point, we move this point to a certain location, then it will be moved um, in a circle and while it was doing this, it will be duplicated. And those duplicated points will be moved upwards by a certain amount, always a little bit more. And when they're moved upwards, um, a scale, uh, dependent on the middle line, the point will be scaled uh, up and down. So the point will either move towards the middle or away from the middle. So we will have a nice um, uh, curve that looks kind of like this and like that. And the connection between those will be like here, here and there. So it will have a very um, smooth kind of surface going on. So in order to do that, we are making a new document here. So the first thing we will do is we construct a point in the middle of our coordinate system. I always like to have it on the zero, zero here. And we'll move this point um, in a certain distance to uh, the x direction. And we will take a slider here. And um, we move this point to a certain x direction. And this is like basically the overall, uh, the overall um, size of our little tower here. And um, now we are circulating um, the, we are circulating the geometry around it by making a ro the rotate command <clears throat> and uh, using an angle uh, of a series. So we will have a uh, increasing, like we have a steady amount of points around it. So we will take, um, let's say 11 points, we have a different step. Also, we need to change uh, the geometry draw to type of degrees. So it will be measured in degrees. I like it more in degrees. And if you see, we increase the amount of points uh, with the count step or um, with the steps, we increase the amount of like distance between the points. So now we have the points around it and we would like to move them up into the um, Z direction. So we are moving them as well. We're creating a series again. We just duplicate this one, but we will use the same amount of number uh, count that we have in the last one. So we are moving up into the Z direction and we will have the points moving up. As we see now, they're like quite high. So we will like squish them a little bit lower with uh, this command here, yeah? the slider here. And we will disable or we disable the preview of the last uh, points. Okay, now we have our points like set up like this and we want them to scale uh, dependent on the middle point, but uh, we want them to scale depend on the middle point who are not from this point, but in each each height. So we need to uh, create a separate. Um, we need to create a separate list of points who are basically around the zero axis, like zero zero zero, and depending on uh, the z ones. So we are having a we're using this point as a normal coordinate, and we are using the same parameters for the moved points, but like just now for the middle point. So we have this as our scaling center point. And we use um, now the geometry that we want to scale and um, the standard of those newly devised points. And now we see it's just like the normal factor, so 0 0.5. So you want to have a different um, factor and um, obviously we can just change it with a simple number slider like here, 
but the problem would be that it would be just um, between those two and it would just be like all equal. So what we like to do here is to, um, we would like to make a graph that basically changes the way of um, how each of those single points is distributed. If it's like maybe near zero here, this one, or maybe near one, so it's closer to the to the edge. So um, we create a range of numbers between zero and one. That's like uh, already in the in the default, and we won't have to the amount of steps of the pound points we have. So we take the same amount of steps like um, in the count meter, but we would need to remove one point. Uh, one of those is a list because we have sixteen values, but we have fifteen points. So we use the cool index command that removes one of the points. I will just use the first point. And now we will regraph the those points into a different uh, style. So maybe we use the Gaussian curve. And as we see now, if we use the um, panel, we have um, the points um, in the Gaussian curve distributed rather than in a very linear distribution. So now we can use this uh, Gaussian curve distribution in order to make the factor of the things. So right now we see we have a way um, more like a different shape. Maybe we can change this around a little bit. You see? So we have a different factor. So now we'll just able just a few so we can have a better look at it. It's okay. And um, yeah, with that, we will have our our basic shape, but we would like to have this as well, like a second time. So in order to um, change it, we can just um, use the same things. So we just copy everything. We can just I need to copy certain things. So we need to just copy um, those things here. So we have like a separate um, graph in this one. Maybe we take a uh, sine curve, maybe like this. And um, we also, maybe it would be also a good idea to change the um, series factor of the rotation. So we're just taking this as well. And instead of having it here, and this one we take it here, so we use a different um, rotation factor basically. So we have another playground. We as well can use those different ones as well, like in the uh, z direction. But we can call copy those as well. But we just focus on the rotation right now. So we have the two um, scales uh, points that we want to use. And what you're now using is a in the curve command, we use um, spline and the NURBS curve, which creates a very smooth curve around those things. You can as well use um, um, interpolate or the polyline curve command. That's also possible. But now we stick with this one. And we will hide the points. And now we have the two uh, distinguished curves and you want to make a ruled surface to connect those two. So yeah, here you have your distinguished, like um, unique curve be between those two curves. And now we can always like change the parameters around. Maybe you want to have a little bit like crazier or less different. And you can um, modify depending on your design of how you want to have the curve to um, change. So yeah, have a great day and enjoy.